What we found are these new emails. They show that 10 weeks before WikiLeaks released their tranche of emails about Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta, a man named Jerome Corsi got in touch with Roger Stone, one of President Trump's longtime political advisors, and warned him dirt was coming. Now, I spoke to Jerome Corsi yesterday, and he shared draft documents of these filings that he said he received from Mueller's team when they were in plea negotiations. Now, Corsi says he's not ready to plead guilty to lying. He's not ready to take this plea, but these documents do offer an insightful window into one of Mueller's investigations. Draft court filings offering significant new insight into what special counsel Robert Mueller may know about Trump associate Roger Stone's efforts to seek out damaging documents about Hillary Clinton from WikiLeaks ahead of the 2016 election. The draft filing says Stone emailed conservative author and right-wing conspiracy theorist Jerome Corsi to get the pending WikiLeaks emails. That email coming just three days after WikiLeaks released emails from the Democratic National Committee in July of 2016. Emails the U.S. government later said were hacked by Russian intelligence officers. Roger Stone writes in July when I'm in Italy and it says, get to Assange. And so I copy that email, I forward it to Ted Malik, associate in London. Two days later, President Trump said this at a campaign rally. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. A week later, the draft filing says, Corsi emailed Stone, writing, word is friend in embassy plans two more dumps, one shortly after I'm back, second in October. Impact plan to be very damaging, before referencing Clinton's campaign chairman John Podesta and the Clinton Foundation. Two days later, Stone discussed the allegations against the Clinton Foundation on InfoWars. Julian Assange has that proof, and I think he's going to furnish it to the American people. Mentioning that he had recently been in contact with then-candidate Donald Trump. I spoke to uh, Donald Trump uh, yesterday. He's in good spirit. Later that month, Stone tweeted this cryptic message. Trust me, it will soon be the Podesta's time in the barrel. According to Corsi, Stone later asked him to help develop a cover story for that tweet, an allegation Stone denies. Roger was saying, you know, I want you to you know, help me figure out, I, you know, a way to make it sound like I didn't know these were Podesta's emails that Assange had. That wasn't what I was referring to. Stone insisting to CNN that the interactions with Corsi laid out in the draft court filing do not prove that I had advanced notice that anyone had stolen Podesta's emails or that I knew the source or content of the WikiLeaks disclosures. In an interview with CNN, Corsi says Stone also encouraged him to press Assange for dirt the morning the Access Hollywood tape was released. My recollection is that Roger is saying, you know, this Billy Budd is going to be dropped, and if and Assange better get going, you know, why don't you get to your buddy Assange and tell him to start? Stone vehemently denies Corsi's claim as pure, unadulterated, unmitigated BS. The same day that the Access Hollywood tape was made public, WikiLeaks published the first batch of Podesta's emails, prompting this response from Trump three days later. WikiLeaks, I love WikiLeaks. A source tells CNN that President Trump's lawyers learned he was referenced in the documents before Thanksgiving. And they were irritated by a line in the filing that notes that Corsi believed Stone was in regular contact with senior members of the Trump campaign, including then-candidate Donald J. Trump. Now, a source says that revelation in that filing actually delayed the Trump team's responses to Mueller's written questions. And, of course, we've seen in the days since then the president only ramping up his attacks on the special counsel on Twitter.